I'm excited to show you the Mega Fire. If you haven't seen this before, this is awesome. Great indoor flyer for FPV racing indoors. If you've never tried it before, this is great fun. And uh, just for over sixty-five dollars, you want to check this one out. This is the Mega Fire micro FPV racing drone, uh, indoor platform. Uh, Racing drones with this duct fence protection. Um, so let's check this out. The service card and it says here makerfire.com. You definitely want to visit the website, lots of settings and a beta flight configuration that you can do, including DSM. DSM2 settings. Included is a typical USB charger for one cell LiPo, 3.7 volt. But you might just want to get one of these uh, parallel port chargers uh, since you're going to be flying lots of uh, battery. I would suggest getting one of this. As you can see, Maker Fire has uh, done a great job. It's uh, got this pre assembled, all ready to fly. I would definitely say uh, this is a good buy uh, if you want to save time. Um, this is all set up and professionally done. Included is a camera, a 520 TV lines. It says 25 milliwatts, but I'm not sure if you could actually increase it. But uh, I've flown it quite a few times and never had a problem so far uh, flying indoors. The one cell LiPo battery, uh, and it's branded as. Craze Pony. I'm not sure what's the relationship between Craze Pony and Mechafire, but it seems to be getting really popular. Uh, just search Google uh, Craze Pony, you can see a bunch of parts uh, made by Craze Pony or branded as Craze Pony, and I think it's by parts of made by Mechafire. At the bottom, it's the uh, crater, it's uh, pretty solid. Uh, if we, haven't had any problems, I've uh, been abusing it, uh, pulling out the batteries and putting back in. Uh, so far it's been really solid. Uh, at the bottom you can see that's the um, the USB port, a micro USB port that supports uh, beta flight. You can connect to beta flight or clean flight, but uh, from the documentation it says beta flight, so I've been using beta flight to configure. Just a couple of steps that you might want to do uh, before you fly. Uh, those are the uh, plug and play ports uh, for the uh, motors, uh, ESCs are all integrated. So you just plug it in um, into those ports and it's easy to change those motors. Um, I haven't had any issues yet, I have done quite a few flights actually, uh, over 20 flights already and uh, it's been good. This is everything you get out of the box, uh, the quadcopter, the charger, the camera and the service card. Lots of fun. On this quadcopter, uh, it's definitely uh, a good buy, and as you can see, it's selling for sixty-four ninety-six at the moment, and it is popular. It's four and ninety-eight favorites added by different people. Here it is again. Make a fire. Other than the uh, expected short flights with the one cell LiPo battery, I uh, haven't seen anything that uh, is an issue. The only downside is the camera does fall off, so I just put a bit of tape around it. If you never used uh, Beta Flight Clean Flight before, uh, it's actually a very simple app, no installation required. You just go to Google. 
and you search for better flight uh, using Chrome and then uh, run the app. Uh, the first thing you have to do uh, according to Makerfire, if you go to makerfire.com, the instructions are there. You're going to have to run some settings. Type in set motor PWM rates equals to 10,000. Hit enter. After that, all you have to do is go down to configuration and set up your receiver. If you bought the bind and fly version, it will be DSM, which is compatible with uh, most of the spectrum transmitters as well as the Wakira Devo deviated radio transmitters. Uh, you want to select uh, Spectrum 1024, then save and reboot. For this uh, test flight, I'll be using the uh, Devo 10 by Wakira. Uh, it's deviated, uh, and I will include those files from deviation on the links below uh, if you want to just download those. If you're not familiar with deviation, Wakira makes a series of universal radios that allows you to fly multiple protocols. DSM is one of them, it's compatible. I'm just going to go through to show you some of the exposed settings which makes flying a lot smoother. To buy into a new radio transmitter, you're going to have to have two pairs of hands probably. You're going to need to reset that button right there. At the same time, power on. So, press the button and power on at the same time. <laughs> 